Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, it's my third year of CRNA school. I guess there is a finish line. And uh, even though it seems still far away, it's crazy to know that there is a finish line. Um, I'm on call right now and uh, luckily no emergency cases have popped up. We were pretty busy in the morning, but now things have um, calmed down. So I decided I'd make a video because I haven't made one in a very long time. Today I'm going to talk about something that's always brought up by people considering school is anesthesiologist versus CRNA. We'll start off saying this. I am a CRNA student. I am no expert in this career. I am a normal guy. Uh, sometimes I speak to people who don't know me and they only know me through nursing, anesthesia, YouTube, stuff like that. And I don't know what to say. In person, if I don't know you very well, um, I can be actually be really, really awkward. Once I get to know you and I lighten up, then I'm, I, I'm really not in my true personality and stuff like that but what i want to stress is that i am not some guru i am a very normal average joe guy who just enjoys when he understands something breaking it down so it's so simple that i can teach it to other people so they don't have the struggles that i go through so that's me crna versus anesthesiologist when i make it simple when i tell people i say it's time and money so crna school usually takes usually takes less time and usually costs less money. Anesthesiology usually takes more time and usually costs more money. CRNAs usually make less money and anesthesiologists usually make more money. And that's it. So to expand upon that, CRNA school, the process is four years to get your bachelor's of science in nursing. You have to get your BSN. Then you have to work in an intensive care unit, usually two years or more. And then you can apply and now most programs are doctorate level so most of them the minimum is three years of school after that anesthesiology you have to go through your bachelor's um, you can get any degree to apply to medical school some people i know some physicians who graduated with like an arts degree if you go into nursing you can still go into medical school just so you know that um, i actually worked with an anesthesiologist she was great and she was a nurse before so she was a nurse and then she went on to medical school and became an anesthesiologist so that's an option as well to apply to medical school take your mcat get into medical school four years of medical school then you have to do a residency and some people after that do a fellowship it depends on what you want right and i do want to say there is like with some people and it seems like it's more on the political side of things not so much from my experience at least within the hospital but like on the political side of things, on both ends, anesthesiology and CRNAs, there seems to be like this tension or this kind of like war where CRNAs are saying, we deserve way more autonomy, which I can understand. And anesthesiologists are saying, hey, we have a profession here and we wanna keep doing our jobs as well. And I can understand that. I don't understand why there's a war. If I was a president of the world, we would then be an anesthesia team and we'd be pushing for everyone to make more. So that's how it should be. CRNAs and anesthesiologists both make good money. If you don't know that salaries, you can Google it. More money than I definitely ever expected to make when I was growing up. So it depends on what you want. I feel like I'm a very proud uh, person in the nursing career. I'm so proud of that. And a big topic is like, oh, we got our doctorate and uh, some some people, again, not all people are like this, but we got our doctorate, so we are doctors now. Technically, yeah, we got our doctorate, doctors now, doctors of nursing. I don't want anyone calling me doctor. I don't care what you call me, to be honest, just don't call me late for dinner and make sure my paycheck's in the mail. That's all I care about. And I feel like nursing should stay nursing, right? I'm so proud to be a nurse. I was so proud to be an intensive care unit nurse and I'm so proud to be a student registered nurse anesthetist and and I'm one day going to be proud to be a certified registered nurse anesthetist, right? I don't think that should be lost. Um, and anesthesiologists are very proud to be anesthesiologists and they're very proud to be physicians. And uh, we've both done so much to get to where we are in our careers. We should keep that and be proud of that and work as a team within anesthesia, which like I said, in, in my experience in the hospital, that's what we do. So to delineate, what's the difference between them? CRNAs and anesthesiologists should be able to accept the same roles within anesthesia, meaning they can put in IVs, they can put in arterial lines, they can put in a central line, they can put in a swan, they can intubate, 
They can go to emergency codes and intubate that person, place LMAs, place airways. They should be the airway expert. They can do those things, both of them, anesthesiologists and CRNAs. Now, what I want to say is uh, there are some places where people are just experts in certain things, right? And, and again, I'm a student. I'm still learning. I'm in my third year doing this. I'm by no means an expert in anything. Um, I feel like I've gotten much better at certain skills by learning from these experts, but by no means am I an expert in anything, right? And there are some people where you go where the anesthesiologist is so freaking good at an A-line, he can get an A-line on anyone, right? And um, some places you go, that's a CRNA. There is a CRNA that's so experienced and has done this for over 40 years, they can put an A-line in anyone, right? And it's kind of like when you go into a team, you learn who who is it. And, and most places that I've been, my experience is again, there's been a mutual respect there where there's been there's been times where the CRNAs say, you know what, this anesthesiologist is so good at this, please come in, help me do this, I can't get it. And there's been a place where anesthesiologists would say, you know what, I know this person's really good at it, you go ahead and get that line or, or whatever it is. But remember, there's still a difference. Anesthesiologists are the physicians, CRNAs are the CRNAs, that's what it is. But they should both be able to perform the roles that the anesthesia needed to get a patient through surgery. Now, for the differences. Anesthesiologists, and CRNAs in some states work independently but many of the rotations that I've been, it's been a care team model. Meaning, for instance, there will be four CRNAs to one anesthesiologist. So the CRNAs are the ones that are intubating, placing the IVs, placing the A-lines, placing the spinals, uh, doing the, the care for the patient that's going through surgery. Anesthesiologists come in and induce, make sure everything goes smoothly for that room. They're in charge of four rooms though. So literally I'll see them like text the anesthesiologist, hey, our patient's back, we're ready to induce. Anesthesiologists will come in, push the drugs necessary to get the patient anesthetized. The CRNA will intubate, or the student, but I'm just gonna say CRNA from now on. The CRNA will intubate, place the A-line and things like that, manage the patient through the surgery, extubate the patient. The anesthesiologist will come just like intermittently and just be like, hey, is everything okay? The CRNA will say, yeah, everything's okay. And then the CRNA will extubate the patient, take them to PACU and it's done. So the difference there is a CRNA will never be in charge of four rooms that anesthesiologists are running. And anesthesiologists make more money because they're charging for each room. And the way it was explained to me that I thought was made very simple was by an anesthesiologist. And he said, it's kind of like Uber, where a lot of the CRNAs are the people driving the cars, right? We're the ones intubating, putting in the, all those things and managing the case. And the person that's in charge of the four rooms is like in charge of the four cars, making money for those trips, right? Like how Uber makes money from the drivers. And that's, that's fine. That's how it is. And I've seen many times where an emergency happens a CRNA texts an anesthesiologist and says, hey, this person, uh, blood pressure won't come down. We think he has a pheochromocytoma, something crazy like that, right? Or as simple as this person's blood pressure won't come up. I've already given him ephedrine and Neo and nothing's happening. Can you come in here? And now we have an extra set of hands and an extra mind and, and it works awesome as a team. That's been a great experience because I feel like the people who are working and doing it seem to really understand how much of a team it really is. It's such a team effort. There's a lot of respect in both professions. And uh, I think that respect needs to be carried upward. Personally, that's how I feel towards this political realm um, outside of the hospital. Um, I think we, if we just, just wanted anesthesia in itself to get better, it's all of us could benefit from that. Um, so that's the difference. Um, also CRNAs don't, like work as intensivists, right? Like you'll see like nurse practitioners who are intensivists, nurse practitioners, but there can be anesthesiologists who are also intensivists. They're intensive uh, like care physicians and they'll work in the ICUs as physicians. CRNAs don't do that. Um, except for COVID, I saw CRNAs go up and um, work in the ICU just to be uh, like really helpful. And because in anesthesia, you have a lot of understanding of critical care and like we go through so much school for that um, and they've gone through so much experience then they went up and did that but on a normal basis you don't see the CRNAs like uh, dictating like the care of intensive care patients um, whereas in some hospitals anesthesiologists do do that so that's my rant and that's my explanation of the difference between CRNAs and anesthesiologists both are awesome professions so consider both I wish you the very best of luck and keep advancing the pressure